meh, I'm going to get better. Anyway, hello everybody. My name is Ed. I'm in my armchair and the smoking lamp is lit. And guess what I'm smoking today? Hmm. This is a blowfish design. This is my newest pipe, although it's a used pipe. Um, and if you know anything about me, I don't, I like the classic designs. So this would not be something you would think I would want. Okay, so the first thing, and the most this is important, is, is in the last few videos, the um, mention of smoke rings has come about. I've mentioned them, been fun, and everybody commented and called me a liar because <laughs> I mentioned that I didn't have on camera a great smoke ring that I blew. And that came up, I suggested that I would love to have a day where everybody has to sm blow smoke rings around the world. So we now have a date for that. <laughs> Again, it's not a challenge, it's not a competition, there's no gall involved with it. It is just purely for the fun. And this will be September 15th, or September 15th, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Everybody, I would love everybody, and you tell everybody else that I don't have. I like to point out now, just as a little aside, I have over 600 subscribers now. Of course, I do my giveaways on anniversaries, but that still doesn't cover everybody. So as you know people, let them know, especially throughout the world. Yes, I do have a lot of people that are in Australia, England, which, you know, a lot of people that subscribe to me, Brazil, you know, a lot of South American people to blow smoke rings if you can at 8 p.m. Eastern Time or at least that day, September 15th. Everybody 
blowing smoke rings around the world. Just to know you can't. So in addition to that, Flat Cap and Lady Fire have committed. They have a live at that time. So at 8 o'clock on September 15th, they're going to be blowing smoke rings. They're in training now. <laughs> so that would be a live that you can participate in. Um, if you do want to record yours, put it on a video, that would be great. Again, a lot of fun. And if you aren't a presenter or you don't want it part of, you can still record it. And if you can upload it to YouTube, maybe as an unlisted and let me know about it so that I can get just the best smoke rings you did that time. I'll put them together, kind of a little collage just for giggles and grins, because that is what is the only reason we're doing this. So again, Flat Cap, Lady Fire, Saturday or Wednesday, September 15th, 8 p.m. Try and blow some smoke rings. Hopefully it'll go around the world. So that's all for now, except for I have a couple other things and then we're going to get a little um, instruction from Dr. Bo Gust, the Pipe Whisperer. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> Remember, September 15th. Hey, hey, a couple things to mention. First, go talking about Flat Cap and Lady Fire again. On their live, they had a day where they had seven different blends that were pure. Virginia, Burley, Perique. And they went through them and tested them and talked about them on their... Um, they're live. And I asked if I could get that. And so Flat Cat sent me all seven of them. I'm going to do the same thing. Just go through each one sometime when I can actually do seven pipes, try them and stuff. But every day since I've got them, I'm opening them up to learn what they are. Um, a lot of you know this, but for me, I've been smoking a pipe again for 52 years, but it's always been about the pipe. I very rarely would have maybe even three or four blends available to me. Um, if I had to try a new blend, I would go through brick and mortar, smell them, sounds good, you know, like that. That's how I found Philosopher, my favorite blend all time. And a lot of time for maybe good 10, 15 years, that was the only blend I got simply because it was close enough to work that I could just pick it up. So I only bought two or four ounces at a time because I can just go and get some more. But as part of the YouTube community, I now have, in addition to pipe acquisition disorder, I have tobacco in acquisition disorder. Yuck. I can't afford all of this stuff, especially since I also have a sad, which is stuff acquisition disorder, which is tampers and stuff of that nature. So this is actually new to me. Maybe only about the last three years that I ventured out just to try stuff. Last year, 
when I started winning a few claws or Steve Coddington just sent me a bunch of tobacco because I'm looking to try, find out what the, the different things are in them with various, um, uh, you know, um, gauze that I was involved in. I got some more tobaccos and then of course it's the YTPC so I don't just get the tobacco that was promised at the gall. I get a bunch more and it's just great. This stuff from Flat Cap it gave it. And what I want to also say is because I wanted to buy just a sample and he goes no. He sent it to me. Didn't charge. That's what he does. And along those same lines, I'm going to show you something else. I don't know if you know, <laughs> but I also have a keychain collection I've been going at since I was 12 or 13, mainly of places. But look at this guy. Okay, it is a briar. It actually has plateau. Shined up. It is gorgeous. James Stumbo. He did five of these. And so I commented to him, says, I collect keychains. Please let me buy one of these. So he sent me this. I asked him how much it should cost. Nothing. Didn't have to pay for shipping just gave it to me. That is the YTPC. You gotta love it. And now here's what I thought. This is my conclusions on James Thumbo, Flat Tap, Captain Lady, Lady Fire, Steve, you know, these people that just give and give. But these guys gave me, you know, just cause. So here's what I'm thinking. One, it did one of three things. One, maybe they're just blazillionaires. So the cost of this doesn't mean anything to them. Doubt that one. Maybe they were allergic to money and they would have to go into therapy if somebody were to send them some money. And you have to touch it and stuff. I doubt that's also. Or maybe these people just are the type of people that just the joy of giving is even better than the joy of receiving. If you ever see James Dumbo, and I recommend you do, just, you know, what you see is what you get. He is just a nice guy. Check him out. You'll figure it out. Won't take too long. But you realize that's the way he is. That's the way these guys are. Enough said. Thank you very much. This will go on my wall when I finally get to it. So finally, two more things. VR, do Hoppington Piper, but first, the long anticipated Dr. Bo Gust, the Pipe Whisperer, is going to teach you how to blow smoke rings. Dr. Bogust here, the Pipe Whisperer. I've been asked to teach you how to blow smoke rings. Smoke rings are easy. First, remember that you're not actually blowing smoke rings. You're going to kind of push them out. 
but mainly realize that anybody can smoke smoke rings. Anybody. Yes, even you. Next, you have to get a tobacco that really grow, blows thick smoke. Not that wimpy stuff you normally smoke. Next, you have to configure your mouth as though you had a broom handle in it. But don't actually put a broom handle in it. Then realize you are actually going to push the smoke out. Use your lower jaw and feel it here and push it out. Lesson over. When I grow up, I want to be a hobbit. Just like Kevin Hobbit and Piper. That's the truth. He is having a giveaway because of 500 subscribers. I think probably around 600 or 700 now. He's only been around for like four months. His growth is phenomenal. And you have to check him out because you just got to check him out. You'll figure it out. You just, you got to like it. He does a little smoke a pipe with me at Tuesdays. And he just tells a story. And it's just great. Anyway, he had given. Having a giveaway. And what he's asking is a scene from a movie that just really stirred you up. And made you feel good. Made you feel bad. Made you, you know, brought an emotion out. Um, and you know I love movies. But I'd like to point out that I'm a very serious guy. I don't do funny. I don't do fun. I watch a movie. I'm completely not emotional. So this was hard for me to figure out what to do. And I really can't think of anything. I started thinking back to um, way back. I mean, before an awful lot of your time. <laughs> Dumbo. Remember that they had the scene where his mother was separated from him 
in the cage, and all she could do is bring out her his, her trunk to comfort her little child. And it was such an emotional, serious. Okay, going on. Because I'm not emotional. Then he had another movie, Bambi. And the hunters killed his mother. Right there on the street. And he's just looking. And he kept asking back for his mother, calling back to her. And it's just. Okay, no. I'm serious. I'm not emotional. But then in another movie, when they killed Old Yeller, and God, I'm sorry. I can't go on, Kevin. I just. I, So I hope you enjoyed yourself today. <laughs> enjoyed yourself. And if you did, I would like you to just like this and subscribe. Because that's how I know new people. And of course, if you don't like, you're not going to get to heaven. So may your smoking lamp always be lit. Take care out there.